close your eyes and watch your breath. The breath comes in, the breath goes out, whether you pay attention to it or not. What makes a difference is what you do with it. This applies not only to the meditation, but to life in general. I was talking to someone today who was worried about climate change, what was going to happen to her grandchildren. And I had to remind her that what makes human life worthwhile is not so much the pleasures we have or the conveniences we have, it's the goodness that we can do. Which sometimes in difficult situations requires a lot of courage, but that's an important part of having a human heart, that you do good with it. This is why the tradition in Thailand is on a birthday. It's not so much that you get presents. You do acts of generosity, you take on the precepts, you spend time meditating. In other words, you make good use of your life. Life is running away, running away, and what do you have to hold, show for it? What do you have to hold on to? The pleasures are gone. John Sawat used to like to say, those pleasures you had last week, where are they now? The essential pleasures are gone. But if there's the pleasure of having done something good, that sticks with you. Every time you think about it, it feels good. And it makes you want to do more. It's that sense of having done something well, done something good, going out of your way to be generous, out of your way to be virtuous, out of your way to meditate. That's what makes human life worthwhile. Which means human worth is something we can give to ourselves. It doesn't depend on what the society thinks about us or how we look in their eyes. Our worth depends on the things that we do, which means that that's in our power to make our lives supremely worthwhile.